Hello, this is Joey Ruiz here again for Droid Life. I am here in beautiful Providence, Rhode Island because Verizon invited us down to check out 5G. But not just 5G, 5G on the Note 10 Plus 5G. Let's unbox the phone. Over there's a node. Let's get testing. Okay, so I don't want to lie to you fine folks. This phone has been out of the packaging, but I did want to show it to you because you've seen our unboxing of the Note 10 Plus, but not the 5G, but do you see the 5G branding is right there on the box, but the rest of the box is pretty much identical. I don't know if there's any more stuff. Yeah, 5G, there's a bunch of like extra stuff here for 5G, but if we open the phone up out of the box, this what you see is just exactly the same <laughs> phones on, of course. But the interesting thing is you would think that a Verizon or Samsung would put 5G on the back of the phone, but no, all you get is the Samsung logo, no 5G logo to be seen, which is kind of interesting. All right, so that's just a quick look. I am gonna take this around the city, get some speed tests, see how hot it gets, download some games, download some videos, see how fast we can really get. Okay, first thing I wanted to do was get a speed test uh, right near that node. The node I showed you being in the view is right there. I'm at the coffee shop. Let's click go and see what we got. All right, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. That's it right here, huh? I was getting closer to 1800 before on this thing. I'll show the video right here, 1800 and down and about 130 up. So I think there are just more people on this node right now. Okay, so one of the things that they want us to test here is download a game, not from the Play Store, but from the Samsung Store, because I think it's uh, set up to actually accept the 5G connection at the speeds to pull it from the server the same way. This is PUBG Modal, is a two, two gigabyte game. The, the node is right there, we are on 5G, let's go. Yeah, download on the network, let's try it. Wow, yep, that is very fast. And it's about to be done in a few seconds. Yep, that's it, and now it's just gonna install. The phone's not getting hot. I did this a couple times and the phone feels fine. It's not like burning up in my hand like people have been like kind of thinking it would. And yeah, it just works. Now the device does get warm, but it doesn't like burn up in my hand and I do still have battery life left. I've been playing this thing for hours now, about three, four hours now, and I still do have battery popping off, you know, speed tests and doing that kind of stuff. But let's open up battery temperature and see where we are. We are 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's start tracking and let's run some speed tests. Awesome. All right, now I'm just continuously downloading PUBG like in literally five seconds just to see if I can get this thing to heat up and uh, it keeps going, it keeps doing it and yeah, it's not really heating up. I do feel some heat in the back near the near the processor and I guess the um, the antennas, but it's not, it's not ter terrible. It really is actually, wait, yeah, it is uh, kind of hot up at the top of the device, like right up in this area here, where I guess the antennas are. Yep, it says 99 degrees right there. It is starting to heat up, but um, yeah, it's not like insane. And this is not real world use. You are not gonna be hammering this the same way I am, but, uh, but yeah, it's definitely keeps going fast, so whatever. Okay, so I do have that warning. After trying to run PUBG a few times, I am at 102 degrees and the phone is telling me battery is too hot, M may reduce the lifetime of your battery. So yes, running things back to back, it is getting it hot and a little too hot for even the phone to take. Uh, so that is interesting, but like I said, this is not real world use. So after I had the fun of pretty much trying to blow up the phone, I figured it was time to actually do some real world testing. So we took the phones, we walked around this uh, small city, the small area where it does have these nodes pretty much um, every few blocks. Like I said, that first node was like a crown. It was a three piece up on top. You can see it right here. Um, as walking down, there are different styles, like a two, two piece node, which goes down just straight down side streets. Like I said, it has to be line of sight. Every node we found, we found that it wasn't exactly equal. Not every one acted the same way. It was blocked by leaves. It was definitely going to slow down. Um, certain ones were around 1200 average, I would say. Um, the one we found, the original one was around 1800, and that's really the top we saw all day. It does bounce around buildings. But it is really interesting to watch the phone, look at the screen and not move and watch it bounce between 4G and 5G just sporadically. 
Okay, so we are two blocks away. I don't know if you can see that node way over there, but only two blocks away, and we are not on 5G here. That is a uh, that's kind of interesting. I figured we'd even get it because we are in direct line of sight, like absolutely direct line of sight. Okay, so my time with this phone has come to an end. I've been hammering on this thing for four hours straight. I got it with a little like 90% battery. I think it's around 35, 40% now. So that's four hours hammering 5G, bouncing on and off, constant speed tests, downloading, uninstalling, downloading apps the whole time, taking photos, taking, doing everything. And yeah, um, the battery has seemed to hold up pretty good for what I would think this 4300. So it's pretty much the same exact specs as the, the regular 10 plus just with those 5G antennas. I'm not sure. They won't really tell us if there's that much different in here, but uh, that is the case. Um, like I said, I was able to get the phone to hit 102, which is the warning temperature for this phone. Apparently 102 degrees Fahrenheit that is. It did get very hot physically to the touch. Um, it did bounce, like I said, back and forth with 4G. We are in a perfect spot right now. It did hit 1800 uh, megabits per second down, 130 up. They do say that this is a 5G up. This is the only place in the country where you actually get 5G up, but it's not one to one. Um, let us know in the comments down below if you want to know anything more about this phone that, that I didn't think about. I've been using it for hours. I'll be able to let you know. Hit the website because we're going to have more updates about this phone. New 5G cities are always getting announced. Be sure to, be, to look there and see what's going on. All right, this has been Joey Rooster Joy Life. See you later.